In this reading of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, we are reading from Book 1, Laying the Foundation, Section 5 and 6. How did the mind make the ego? And how do you turn your ego off? How did the mind make the ego? David We are reading from the ego and false autonomy section where Jesus says in the first paragraph, It is reasonable to ask how the mind could ever have made the ego. In fact, it is the best question you could ask. There is, however, no point in giving an answer in terms of the past because the past does not matter. History would not exist if the same errors were not being repeated in the present. Abstract thought applies to knowledge because knowledge is completely impersonal. Examples are irrelevant to its understanding. Perception, however, is always specific and therefore quite concrete. Text chapter 4, section 2 There is no sense of going on a witch hunt and looking back into the past or in asking how the guilt and the ego could have come about. Jesus tells us not to go looking in the past for the answer. You need to have a present experience. As long as you are feeling upset in any way, then, by your experience, you can tell that the same mistake is being repeated. Friend, but that does not answer the question of how the mind could have made the ego. David, here we go. In the fourth paragraph of the introduction to the clarification of terms section, Jesus addresses this question directly, saying that there is no answer to it. There is only an experience. Seek the experience rather than allowing questions like this to delay you. In other words, to get bent on the question of how the impossible could have happened can put one into a metaphysical, theological tailspin. Beneath the question, there is an underlying assumption. The underlying assumption is that the impossible could happen and has happened. Why would you ask how it happened unless you already believed that it did? Answering the question makes the error real. It is the same as wanting a good, solid definition of the ego. Rather than defining the ego, we talk about the miracle, about the right mind and about the correction. The state of the miracle is what the ego is not. It is about choosing the right mind, choosing the miracle. It is not about analyzing the ego. The mind ran from the light in an instant of terror. The ego belief is that God is going to get you because you have really pulled off the separation from God. The mind was terrified and moved into the darkness away from the light. For an instant, there was, there was a belief in the ego. That is all it is, the unholy instant. Here is the unholy instant where that tiny belief was believed in and here comes the Holy Spirit simultaneously as the answer to that. 
right there in the mind god played god placed that god placed the answer to the insanity right where the insanity was he did not put the answer out in the world because that is not where the puff insanity is the puff is in the mind he placed the answer right where the problem was but the mind is so terrified of that light that it kind of moved out towards the form and got engaged in bodies and survival and judgment god is my life i have no life but his i was mistaken when i thought i lived apart from god a separate entity that moved in isolation unattached and housed within a body now i know my life is god's i have no other home and i do not exist apart from him he has no thoughts that are not part of me and i have none but those which are of him workbook lesson 223 How do you turn your ego off? Hi David. My problem since I was a young as young as 2 to 3 years old has been fear and always thinking the worst. I wish I could just turn off my ego, my ego fear, but it has always been my downfall. I know I have to look within, read more and meditate more. How do you turn your ego off? Is it just constantly being aware and rejecting it at all times? I worry so much. It drives me crazy. Beloved one, thanks for your question and for writing what is on your heart. One does not turn the ego off. one unplugs it by withdrawing faith in it first you begin by paying attention to thoughts and feelings and perceptions the chatter and emotional roller coaster ride and distorted unstable perceptions attest to an insane ego belief system that dictates these swings the ego must be exposed and brought to light before the swings will give way to a consistent stabilized perception until faith is with, until faith is withdrawn from the ego the mind will seem to swing between darkness and light You made the ego by believing in it and can dispel it by withdrawing all belief from it. Without the power the mind seems to give it, the ego will seem to cease to be. Right now, Christ is present. The ego was an illusion of past and future. but the light has come and in this light the error has vanished be willing to move inward and question all assumptions fear is an assumption and thus dissolves in the presence of light protect no belief from the healing light of the holy spirit and you will see that there is nothing to cling to yield and merge with the will of god for it is our will as well miracles come from trust in god as trust increases fear disappears your willingness will seem to open into readiness and readiness will seem to open into mastery 
All glory to God and thanks to the Holy Spirit for guiding past the illusion of fear to the forgiven world and on to the memory of God.